Once upon a time, there was a telephone company. Everyone wanted a telephone, so the company connected almost every home, business, school, hospital, and church in the country with a telephone wire. The telephone company grew large and powerful, and because the telephone became so important to everyone, the government decided that telephone service was a utility and should be regulated to protect customers. The telephone company grew into a giant, and people worried that one company shouldn't have total control over such an important thing as our telephone service. So the government broke the giant phone company into smaller, regional companies, giving the individual state utility commissions the power to control local phone service and regulate prices. As new technologies came along, the phone companies wanted to offer those services to their customers, but they needed a new type of wire fiber optic that could carry many signals at once. With fiber optic cable, phone companies could offer access to internet services and build a network for wireless communications, and they set up new divisions that weren't regulated to manage those businesses. For years and years, local phone customers paid their monthly phone bills, which included rate increases and other fees that were used to build the new fiber optic network. The phone companies promised they would connect everyone to the new network, but that never happened. Only some people got fiber. Other communities never got connected, creating what we now call the digital divide. Wireless communications grew into a giant industry and became extremely profitable, partly because most of the cost of the fiber optic network it depended on was being paid for by the local phone customers. More and more of the expenses for the fiber optic network were placed on the accounting books of the local phone service, and this made the local phone service appear unprofitable, and apparent losses were used to justify even more rate increases for local phone customers. Millions of phone customers remained unconnected to the new fiber optic system they had paid for. Local phone companies, which appeared to be so unprofitable, avoided paying state taxes on a lot of the money they collected. They also vastly overcharged local phone customers for the services they were actually delivering. And all the time, the unregulated wireless business got a free ride. This is a true story, and it continues today. State utility commissions, many with former telephone executives sitting on their boards, are asleep at the switch as phone customers continue to be overcharged. States continue to be shortchanged on tax revenue. Millions of Americans are without broadband Internet service. And wireless divisions of the telecoms reap enormous profits for investors. You can help put an end to this. States which are suffering economically from the pandemic can get much-needed tax revenue. Wireless services will finally have to pay the true cost of their operations, and we can solve the digital divide once and for all. For all. Like everyone. To learn more, please visit irregulators2020.com forward slash fix it. Thank you.